this disabled gaming reviews let's play is best enjoyed in front of a computer monitor and or tablet with the speakers on and to any epileptics out there please watch this in a well-lit environment to reduce the risk of any potential seizures this DGR place party is also unofficially sponsored by Boom and Mini Boom in Air. So Boom and Mini Boom are a geek boutique where if you're looking for things like Dragon Ball mugs, alien figurines, etc, etc, definitely check them out. Did I also mention that they're an official Warhammer retailer? So if you're looking for extra fire team squads to add to your Tau army, definitely check them out. They are located opposite Airbus Station. Look out for the Deadpool statue. Links to Boom and Mini Boom's Facebook page is in the video's description below. Now, with all that aside, please enjoy the video. to come out in 1990's Chief Editor of Disabled Gamer Reviews and it's welcome and you have joined me as I officially kick off both the Retro Gaming Takeover and Disabled Gaming Reviews and this Let's Play of Max Payne. So now we've just got a few formalities that I'd like to get out of the way quickly. So first off um, Shout out to um, my best friend um, o Andrew Open Rock Carpenter. First off, thank you very much for um, um, suggest suggestion to um, Dark Max Payne in the first place, and most importantly, your patience until I found this um, fix pack, which was which I think was about October last year. So um, anyway. So one last thing I'd like to cover with things. First off though, the first review of this um, of this retro gaming takeover is going to be Battle Toads for the NES. By the way guys, sorry about that. It's the best the best drum roll I could do. <laughs> so before we um so again, 45 minutes per episode, but during Lord Green's, um, the timer will be paused, but the timer will still be running through graphic novel sequences. Okay? because apparently he's now leaving for America, New Jersey in fact, and he's talking something about the number 9 or something like that. But hey, not my business. So, one last thing. I probably am going to say this on like a record stuck on one CD player stuck on one track repeat. If you're, if you're watching, if for any epileptics out there is watching this video, Please watch this in a well wet environment. In fact, my player, I have my lights on behind me, so um put that for the Let's get into Max Payne. Investigator reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 foot dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Officer in danger, Ace of 
Plaza. Repeat, Acer Plaza, all units. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. So, um, the timer is, this time, the timer is going to start when the, um, actual gameplay starts. Of course. And so, obviously, during the, um, graphic novels, my mic will be muted. So, that way I don't speak when, or any other character speaking. Good thing I've got these, um, Trussell Beach, um, delts. I was still on the force back then, NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day, the smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Okay, so that's the time we start now. I've got What the minutes. hell? Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall, a map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the Payne residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Michelle! Freeze! NYPD, drop it's it! coming! I'm gonna... No. No, no, please, God, no. The flesh of fallen angels! No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. It was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst Mafia family in New York. Yeah, so isn't it ironic that Valkyr, or V, um, is somewhat similar to these other psychotropic drugs like LSD, which also...
Right, so my bad. So, but to be fair, I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. The pills would hold the pain back for a while. Jesus. It's this kind of game that will actually reward you for the thorough of the levels. For example, I've just been given a bit of extra Wasn't Jake owl, supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much <laughs> ah! Anyway, so it's very rewarding for very thorough exploration. Yeah! Yo! Interrupt me again. <sighs> so anyway, this game really does um, reward you thoroughly when you thoroughly explore the level. Yo guys! Example. Yo guys! Hey! Hey! Ah! So. So. Anyway, because I investigated those two walkers, um, I've been able to get a little extra ammo and painkiller. <coughs> Hold it! I was hoping that I would be able to demonstrate to you how painkillers work by the end of the What was that? Video. It's nothing. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> While looking for Alex, I had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. So, yeah, that is still a bug, but to be fair, that actually was in the original game. Kiss it good. Ah! You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Home free. This way. Dang out!
Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. So on top of that, of course, there is no checkpoints and all that stuff like in, like in the original Half-Life. The pills would hold the pain back for a while. But luckily enough, I know this game like the back of my hand. Wasn't Jake supposed to take that? Oh! Ah! Ah! While looking for Alex, they had ended up in the middle of a big-time crime operation. Kiss it good- ah! You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make- from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Home free. This way. What the hell? hell? from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Home free. This way. Hey! Look out! The train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on.
um, anyway, so this is, this part was where Max is actually supposed to see when looking for Alex and to be, I'm in the middle of a big time crime operation. Yeah, but that glitch actually is also included in the original game, so it's not a problem. So, we're now into chapter 2, Life, Life in the Crime Scene, and, and we've got 13 minutes, 23 seconds on the clock. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. It's like the failure count is rising. Yeah, I wouldn't joke about it if I was you. Yeah. The station's not secured. Someone is. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest. They're gonna be here soon. So stick... Now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. 
You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers had been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, am I glad to see you? What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers had been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel.
Max! Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack! I nearly shot you! Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue! It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place. Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place. Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Okay, so we've got about 13 minutes, 31 seconds on the clock. And... More or less, about halfway through... One. Or part one. We're on this part, and uh, I'm actually making the normal podcast. 
Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad planner? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Pain in the butt. Ha ha, pain to the max. Junk squad pain. Got a ticket of Marble City for it. Eat first and lying down. Bring it out. Ticket of Marble City for it. Eat first and lying down. Bring it out. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Bosses. Everything all I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gogniti. Gogniti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Hey, bosses, Joey, Vigilio, you all right now? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. It's paint. <laughs> In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Oh, damn, right, George. Time for me to start open question. In your life, what would you say is the biggest and grave, injust grave injustice have you, have you ever been through? I mean, for example, have you stolen something? From someone, and yeah, you taking the ball for it? Something like that? Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Hey! Ah! Ah!
and ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. He had junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the... <laughs> my lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not know. It's yes, bang bang down. Down. Oh, this shame is too great. Piece of crap! <laughs> oh, careful! It might kick back! De -de 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 -de. Kill a vending machine! It's got a lawyer! The city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! Vigilio! You all right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Come, come quick! Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now! Bosses! They're coming in! It's pain! Ah! Ah! In his press conference today,
Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Payne's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Payne's gonna pay. In oh. Ah! Ah! Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. There he is! Go down! V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. found Marte's room. Marte had received a letter. Until then, this is Parker Man in 1990, signing out.